How is it enjoyable that I have to spend around uh, 300k raw gold most of the time to bump a character from 1540 to 1580 and then have her repeat the same thing on the alt to keep playing to that on top? So I repeat the whole experience again. How is it enjoyable that I have to spend around 300k raw gold? Okay, I don't personally believe that you should be having multiple 1580 characters. I think that's bad design. I don't think that should be the case at all. I don't think you should ever be doing that. I think that's the problem with the game too, right? I think you're, no, it's not FOMO. I just think that your main character, you should have a main and having multiple mains is bad design. I don't think it's good design. So to play the raid more? Yeah, it'd be nice if you could do it more, right? I don't think that, I don't think that, I don't think that's a good solution of making alts to do the raid more. There should be more fun things for you to do on your main character. That's the point, right? That's what I wrote down earlier. You should, I want to do more fun things on my main character. Something that I can spam on my main character would be fun. I don't think having six characters as main characters is not a must. It's absolutely six main characters is absolutely not a must, right? We don't get by with, you want to know why? So in the mushroom game, you have a boss mule, right? In the mushroom game, you got a boss mule. Your boss mule is not as strong as your main character. Yeah, but you want to know why you don't have to juice your character up? You want to know why your character doesn't be juiced to the gills? Because you can solo the bosses. You can go in there and no one's going to... You want to know why you guys juice your characters up? Because other fuckheads have other 1580 characters and they're not going to invite you into the raid. They're going to see you with your, your... What happens when a person signs up, right? There's no more alt runs. That's what I was saying before. There aren't alt runs anymore. There are no such thing as an alt run. You sign up for fucking, I don't know, Brel Shaw's a 4x3, a few level 7 gems. Gate 1-2. Ooh. But it's fucking 1-2. Ooh. I'm not inviting that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get invited. So the point is, is that I don't think it's... They're not actual... We don't have alts anymore. You have mains. You're all mains, and that's bad design. It shouldn't be that way. You should have a main... And then there should be alt runs or the ability to do other things to make gold, whether it be some of your, it should not, all of this guys is linked. This is why I put this, I wrote this down because I'm fucking right. There needs to be other ways to make gold. It should not only come from raids. You should have other things to do in the game. It should not all be about the raiding thing. Other things that you can do, free up some of your characters. Give me something I can do on my main character. Give me better progression so I can swap my main character. And then if you want to have alts, great. But there needs to be another way for them to be beneficial than having to just run the same exact raid you just did. It's not good. It's going to cost you too much gold. No one uses these alts like, like they're supposed to even be used in the first place. You just want to do all the raids and then you have, to have this crazy expectation of gear. It's bad. That's why the gatekeeping exists, man. We used to have alt runs. Remember vault and alt runs? I remember literally seeing titles when the game came out. Vault and alt runs. Getting to a, getting, in my opinion, getting to a pinnacle end game raid should be a difficult progression path. That's the fun of it, right? It should be a difficult thing. It should be some kind of farm. It should be fun. But doing it on eight characters is insane, bro.